We are in Okonjima, home of the Africat Foundation. Behind me, there are five cheetahs prowling. How to photograph the world's fastest land animals and how to use the autofocus, you'll learn in this new episode of the Color Class Namibia. This cheetah group consists of animals that have been caught somewhere in Namibia to protect them and that are now too tame to release them into the wilderness. They live in a huge enclosure and we have the opportunity to photograph these beautiful big cats from a relatively short distance. But even if the cheetahs are too tame to watch out for predators like leopards, we were advised not to turn our backs on these kittens, which can weigh up to 60 kilograms. In order to keep the cheetah group mentally and physically fit, the rangers set up a training course in the enclosure today. Here, the sprinters, which can reach speeds of up to 90 kilometers per hour, and our Sony cameras can show what they're capable of. In another episode of The Color Class, I told you about the basics of wildlife photography. Today, we will talk specifically about what I need to do when animals move quickly. What do I have to consider? There are two very important things. One is exposure and the other is autofocus. Very important for the exposure. Put it into manual. Why is that? If animals move, especially if they move quickly, they will run in front of a light surface, for example, the step, and sometimes in front of a dark surface, for example, bushes. The exposure on the animal always remains the same. If you now use automatic exposure, the exposure will change permanently, even though the exposure on the animal is still the same. Therefore, set the exposure manually beforehand. Of course, short shutter speeds, 1,000 minimum. Rather go up a bit with the ISO sensitivity and then work manually, otherwise you won't get a nice series. The autofocus, however, is often much more difficult to handle. Here it is obvious that we have to work with the continuous autofocus, because the single autofocus cannot capture fast movements. With this, there are a few small things to consider. On the one hand, do not use the smallest AF area, but use the medium-sized AF area so that you can really select a part of the animal, for example, the head of your motive. With moving animals, it is very important to switch off the eye autofocus for animals. Why? They are too fast and it would not focus. And there is a far better function that we can use, at least with Sony cameras, the so-called AF tracking. Pressing the shutter button halfway and then focusing on the animal's head and the autofocus will then always remain locked on that part of the body, in this case, the head. So, very important, what do you have to set on your camera? Manual exposure. Before that, measure any spot where the animal is and measure it manually. High burst speed, medium sized AF area and continuous autofocus. And then I hope that you just need a bit of luck to get the really cool shots. And I'll try the same thing now. <laughs> 